हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल माय सेल्फ वैभव इन आर टुडे सेशन ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड ट्रेडिंग वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग ऑफ फ्रेश विद द हज मूविंग एवरेज व्हिच इज अ वेरी फास्ट एंड स्मूथ मूविंग एवरेज एंड हियर इट विल कीप अस विद द प्राइस एक्शन एंड देयर वोंट बी मच लैग इन द कैचिंग अप ऑफ द मूविंग एवरेज विद द प्राइस एक्शन एंड इट इज दैट वे प्रीटी यूजफुल for us to get involved uh, during the initial hours of uh, trend change and so we will uh, utilize this hma the hull moving average for uh, deciding when to enter and when to exit and uh, to determine the trend as well we will be taking help of the min max min max is uh, fairly simple the lowest and the highest value specified over a period of time and the atr for uh, helping us determine the appropriate uh, entry point as well as the stop loss and the uh, target levels before we get started here is the standard disclaimer i would like to remind that this session is simply for the tutorial purpose and no claim is being made regarding the profitability or otherwise of the algorithms which we will be developing during the session suppose if you want to use any of it i would recommend extensive testing and also good enough amount of uh, running it on a demo account to get a idea of the efficacy of uh, this algorithm and of course nothing in the webinar is to be constructed as an advice to trade or for any particular setup with that we get started for the day so here first of all we will see what we are trying to achieve we are bringing in a combination of these uh, hms one is defined for 50 hours this is a hourly time frame and uh, we are taking as uh, you can see the details here uh, let me show you so here we are taking actually the indicator as per the defined period and uh, here the charting is for 1 hour and uh, the time period is 50 so we are taking in the data for uh, last 50 hours and we are drawing this hull moving average depending on that and uh, for uh, the immediate uh, trend change we are counting on the hma 15 so we are basically using this combination of uh, 50 hma and uh, hma 15 so here what we are doing is we will uh, use this 50 hma as uh, our uh, guiding light anything above this hma 15 we are considering it uh, to be in the say, buy mode and uh, anything below the hma 15 to be considered as a in a sell mode so anything below this hma 15 we are considering it bearish and anything above is bullish for us then the question comes what is the appropriate level for when to get involved and uh, to help us solve that riddle we are uh, bringing in this uh, turn around and uh, what we are doing is we will be taking a combination of three hma blocks and uh, suppose if we are going in for a sell trade then we will be simply looking at the hma blocks for last uh, last Uh, i think we will have to take uh, the last one and the plan almost 5 hours of data and we will look at this uh, slope of the hma what we want is that last hours hma value should be lower than the value 3 hours back and uh, so here as you can see the price action is happening below this hma 50 as well as this uh, hma 15 value is going down and uh, the last hours value is uh, lower than the 3 hours value 3 hours back value of hma and uh, then that value uh, the hma with shift 3 should be higher compared to the hma with shift 5 so earlier it should have been rising then it is going in a decline that means these are the initial hours of the trend change and also the broader uh, trend is also in our favor so that is the idea here for any buy trade to happen we want the trend change on the 
15 hours time frame so we here we will be considering the last hour HMA value and we will be comparing it to the HMA value 3 hours back and it should be higher as well as the candle close should have happened above this HMA 50 and then the HMA 15 value 3 hours back should be lower than the HMA value 5 hours back so again we are checking in the combination of uh, this 5 hours HMA data and we want the turnaround to be happening on the side of the broader trend which we are defining using the HMA 50 so here this is a fairly simple setup and uh, I hope by now you have got a fair bit of idea of what we are trying to achieve but also we want the uh, momentum the magnitude of this uh, fall or rise should be good enough to warrant us a fresh trade initiation and for that we will uh, try to make sure there is enough of difference between the last hours uh, last three hours min max and uh, min max level so we will be counting on the volatility as well and we want the volatility to be in our favor and that's only that's only the time to get involved when there is a, you know, a price auction for us to warrant a new position and uh, then we will get involved depending on the which side this uh, setup is pointing to so let us get started on the visual j forex platform developed by the Ducoscopy bank sa which is uh, giving us the opportunity to build the algorithms in a, in an easy way and we don't really need in-depth knowledge of programming here we have this custom made program platform developed by the bank which makes our life easier now let us take uh, the if blocks for doing the candle the candle instrument subscription and then after the candle instrument subscription we will also define the position amount limit so here it is and uh, now what we want is default let us take a look here default instrument we have got it and uh, then on candle we need the candle instrument to be the same as the default instrument so here we are uh, continuing to stick with euro usd so here we will have to change we can do both ways we can change the instrument here or we can change our default instrument it's not a big deal what we are really concerned with is that uh, we should be right about our uh, logical setup the idea the logic behind the initiation of any fresh trade and apart from that we are not really concerned with which instrument we can use any so here we will be continuing to work this time around with euro usd and uh, candle instrument is now defined and this should be connected here again we take uh, last bit with candle instrument and then we have to define that the candle instrument should be equal to euro usd first it should be equal to the default instrument and default instrument is euro usd and then we hard code it to make sure that the algorithm doesn't go astray so now here we have this combination next thing to do is get the position info all position 
position amount so here this uh, then now we have to take the indicator block which are hma we will need a three HMA blocks here, one with the value shift 1, another with value shift 3, and one more with value shift 5, all defined on hourly time frame. So, here we connect this. We have to change this time period to 1 hour each. Hourly shift is going to be 1. And here we will be using it for 15 hours. So we have to change time period here. And make it one five fifteen, and this should be shift three one hour hourly. Again, we take one more HMA block to complete this uh, combination of three HMAs and this is one hour shift 5 and the time period is so here we have defined this let us also color code this and uh, now we have to shift our attention to the 50 HMA we have to define this as well and the time period is of 50 okay shift is 1 last hours data and uh, the time period is going to be changed to 1 hour so here we have this hma requirements in place default instrument is euro usd now the next thing we will need is uh, the info for last hours closing levels and for that we will have to take date historical candle and here it comes And again, let us make it hourly. Which side, upper side is bid, it's okay. And we change this to one. 
All right. Now what we will need is to define the min max. So for that we will need to bring in the mathematical block of min max. And uh, 10 minutes looks good, but since we are going to consider 3 hours data only, we have to change this parameter to 18. So here 10 multiplied by 18, we get 3 hours data. Now we have got this in max levels. And uh, we have to make some changes, bid and the low price. Okay, one more min max. So here we have got we have to make changes here as well. It should be ask and the high price. Okay, now we have to do some calculations regarding the entry points. For that, we will need the ATR. So, here comes the ATR. And uh, the ATR is going to define on the daily time frame. With shift being changed to one. So here we have this bare bone structure almost ready. Now we will need to do some calculations to make it uh, more compatible with our uh, logical thinking. So here we start. We will need to go into this components and here we have got the calculation expression and we will use this to define to define the various needed calculations so here it comes we will be placing the current pending open order at least 20% uh, of the daily ATR away from the current price so suppose here if we are going in for a sale trade uh, as you can see the conditions are in place at uh, first uh, glance so here it looks like we might have been able to go 
for a trade after 4 GMT is closer. So here whatever is the closing price we will be adding at least 20% uh, of the daily ATR and then we will be placing a pending open order which will be valid for 2 hours here and uh, for a buy trade as you can see here is the buy case being made as we have this price action moving on the higher side and uh, here we will be placing the order which will be 20% of the daily ATR lower so for a buy trade we will be deducting from the last tick for a sale trade we will be adding to the last tick price and that order will remain valid for 2 hours at uh, first So here we have to take this ATR range and create a fresh variable. Create a new variable which will be double and it is going to be 0 0.20. Oh. It should it's the place to write name and what should we name it uh, I think uh, by entry pips B E P should be good enough and it is going to be 20 percent so here it is And uh, we also need the last tick tick price and uh, for that we will take since there is a buy order we will be deducting it from the bid side and for that we are going to take into account last tick tick price not on candle so here is last tick and uh, last tick tick bid ok now we have to do is a3 minus a1 into a so here we get a by entry point B E similarly for a sell side trade up uh, setup we have to define the sell side now and uh, again we have to take this ATR and uh, this 20% requirement is also the same all we have to do is now add it to the current price so here okay line 22 the ATR and uh, the 0.2 percent difference in percentage terms and it is going to be last tick uh, tick ask we will need to bring as well and last tick tick ask here it comes 
and since this is going to be the value for selling tree point we will need to add it a 3 plus a 2 into a 1 okay and this is going to be our sale execution point as the Now we have defined this point, so let us connect the flow. So here we have defined this buy entry and the sale entry as well. We will also need to bring in uh, the one minute candles to define the exact entry point. So we get those as well. So here it is and now we have to customize it accordingly according to our need. So here we do this change and we make it one minute each. and this is going to be shift 1 and then this is going to be shift 2 so here we have defined this now with that we finish up the session for the day we will be back tomorrow and then we will uh, continue to work our way towards the finish line. So that's it from my side for uh, today's uh, automated trading session in which we have worked so far with the HMA combination. We will be back tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.